All right, everyone, it is time. We are in the playoffs. The It's a semi-finals. There's only two rounds of playoffs this season for the Ubers Battling Association Delta Division. Why was I in lower division? Nobody. We, oh, I mean, we know, but it was still not a, a very good decision, but whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah, so semis... I'm playing against uh, Copper, who's the only, well, one of the very few people left in the league who I hadn't played. Um, Copper is a Queenslander like myself. He's the Queensland Kinkelders coach. And uh, his team is terrifying. Um, I would say probably one of the toughest after I played the Mewtwo Zamazenta last week. Um, so, Copper's team consists of Chiron Black, which now has access to Freeze Dry. Icicle Spear and Dragon Dance. Uh, the uh, Groudon, you know, nice, nice Sun Boy, nice uh, P Blades. Um, Tapu Koko, one of the best sport mods in the format. Aegislash, who has been nerfed but still has like, uh, but still got access to moves like Close Combat this gen. Mega Blastoise with Shell Smash, the current league's kill leader. Uh, Venusaur, another a nice Chlorophyll Sweeper. Crocodile. Toxtricity, who you guys know has been tearing a lot, he's been on a rampage in the World Pokemon Federation A Division. Victini, the v creator of Gods in the Sun. Celesteela, the absolute just tankiest thing. Ditto, because I'm not allowed to have fun. And Verizon, mobile, because I am allowed to have a good phone connection. That's some bullshit, man. This, this team is ridiculous. Um, what is it? But the non-legendary Pokemon who are not starters, like the non-legendary Pokemon, two starters, Ditto, and then Toxtricity, and no, it's just a Toxtricity and Crocodile, who both have unique, or I don't know if unique, but very limited typings. Very, very terrifying teams to play against. However, what you might notice is that only Tapu Koko, Verizon, uh, Verizon Mobile, and um... Victini are base 100 speed or faster, which is very good, so why my first set here is the Tail Glow Manaphy with the three attacks, Ice Beam, Energy Ball, and Surf with the Life Orb, will absolutely go in and donk on any member of his team, the Venusaur has speed control, its ability, um, I have the uh, Choice Scarf Dog Trio, which can hopefully be able to trap the Tapu Koko and the Victini, to some decent effect. It has Stone, Stone Edge and Earthquake, which is very good against a lot of this team. It's Toxic, it has Memento. Sorry, I didn't mention, I, the reason I have a Glitch X City remix playing in the background is because I have not been able to get the in-game audio to get working. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I hope it, this does not sound too loud. It does sound pretty loud to me. I'm actually just gonna turn my volume down a little bit. Um, uh, but now you have music in the pre-game thing as well, yay. Um, and actually, very way, good way, I, I built a few sets, a few teams, like, completely distinct teams for this. Uh, I think the only, like, lap, uh, crossover set was Mew. The other set teams had Choice Man, but I could run Choice Scarf because this set has Eject Button Toxapex. So, this is my pivot into Victini. This takes a V-Create, or a U-Turn, it Eject Buttons into Dugtrio, and then Dugtrio traps Victini, because this set is faster than Victini. This set's speed ties Victini. Uh, basically most of my, I'm not really expecting Verizon Mobile to come, it might come, I'm not too worried if it does, honestly, um, this team I think is the weakest of the three to Verizon, but I'm still not too worried, oh uh, yeah, Earthquake, Stone, Toxic, Memento, with well, this one eject button means that I get like guaranteed in, into one of my three choice Pokemon who are all pretty good, we'll get into the other two in a second, um, in the late game, like Knockoff is just really good utility, Toxic affects a lot of his team, in all honesty, uh, his Toxic Immunity is uh, Aegislash, which doesn't like getting burnt and it doesn't like getting knocked off, especially if it's a defensive set. Uh, it doesn't like either of those, um, if it's physical, it also doesn't like that. Um, and Venusaur and Toxtricity. I'm not really expecting Toxtricity, but th that's another Pokemon I can trap. Dogtrio, if Sun isn't up, I can uh, certainly deal with the Venusaur pretty well, and Toxic is really nice. Oh yeah, and Telestealer. Telestealer is a problem, but let's just pretend it doesn't exist. Um, yeah, so knock off Toxic Recover and Scald. Scald burns are nice, it's very physically offensive because a lot of his team is very physical. Yeah. Uh, Marshadow, Choice Band, Adamant, Faster than Victini, Spectral Thief, Shadow Sneak, Close Combat, and Force Palm because I literally didn't need another move, so I picked one that is boosted by Technician to be base powered 90 and has 100% accuracy and no stat drops. 
So it's stronger than Drain Punch, otherwise I, if it didn't have Technician, I'd probably just be running Drain Punch. And that's really, really just it. I really didn't need any other move, and that's why I have this. I didn't want to move that, that Ditto could lock into, which would be good against me, you know, to some extent. Um, Hydrogen is a choice spec set with the U-Turn and the Draco Meteor, the Earth Power, and the Dark Pulse. Um, Earth Power obviously hits the Tapu Koko, Dark Pulse is neutral against every single Pokemon other than that besides the Crocodile, who does not want to take a Draco, and who doesn't really want to take a Dark Pulse if we pull up the Calcumin Millators. Uh, this set is also faster, importantly. Yeah, I mean, like, it's doing massive chip. Earth Power also to a kit. Like, it's not a Pokemon that really wants to be coming in on, um, Specs Hydreigon. Yeah, and then Mew has the rocks. It is Teleport. This, for people who don't know, and this is going to be, like, the first week where I'm just, like, bringing Teleport to sort a lot. Um, Teleport is now a reverse priority move. Uh, Grass Knot obviously hits the Pokemon that... It, this hits everyone except Toxtricity that is immune to Thunder Wave being the Groudon and the Crocodile. It's base 80 against Crocodile, so it's weak in the Energy Ball, but it's a base 120 versus Groudon, which I thought was very important. Um, and I've got Rocks. Depending, it was always a question of whether I was having Dug Trio be Scarf or Band as to whether I had Rocks or Spike. So I have Rocks on this set, which is good because it helps chip down the Chiron Black if it's not Heavy Duty Boots, which it might be. I don't know. It's very difficult to prepare for a lot of things that my um, opponent might bring. Heavy Duty Boots is a very broken item, and I don't have really good Pokemon that exploit. I think I brought Heavy Duty Boots a lot, like once this season, um, and in all honesty, I feel like I'm more likely to lose this game than I am to lose any other game, than, than I am to lose Finals. Um, finals, the other bracket is uh, Pikachu Zappy Zap against uh, Jolts. Um, And I, obviously I beat Jolts, um, and I play, I beat the coach that Pikachu Zappy's out replaced. So I would not be incredibly worried about beating either of them, in all honesty. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not, I'm not too worried. I'm more worried about this game than I am about finals, despite the fact this is the, uh, the fourth seed rather than the second or third. But I mean, honestly, it, it's, at this point, I, I went undefeated in main season, right? I don't. I don't care, <laughs> right? I, I I just I'm not too fast. Is this not? Okay, my team is fine. I'm not sure what was happening with that. Oh, there's the the challenge. Here we are in the semi-finals against Copper Cup and these Queensland Con Calders. have liked that team name as well. Okay, so he brings his Ubers, he brings Crocodile, he brings Victini, he brings Celesteela. Um, he doesn't bring Coco. He doesn't bring Verizon. Victini is the only Pokemon here that's faster than Hydreigon. Nothing is faster than Manaphy. Uh, because it's speed size. Nothing's faster than Marshadow, nothing's faster than Dogtrio, but that's obvious because Dogtrio is... Um, the main problem, I think, is going to be the Aegis Slash. I'm glad, I no, I'm sad I didn't bring Spikes, because Spikes hurts all three of these, but Rocks is also very good for the Vitini, very good for the Chiron Black. Um, Flux Specs is really good support to be able to pivot into Dugtrio, who can help trap a, um, Chiron Black, potentially after a Dragon Dance, who can help trap a Ground off the Chip, a Crocodile off the Chip, a Victini from full. Um... I honestly don't see how he leads against Marshadow. Probably this one. Groudon isn't too accused by Special Thief if it is fair, if it is defensive. He didn't move Venusaur either, so I, he basically conceded speed control to me, which makes me concerned that he might run a Trick Room set. I had another variant of this team, which was Trick Room oriented, because Alola Marowak kills his entire team. It's not the Mega Blastoise either, which I'm very glad to see. I'm, I'm honestly just going to go with this. Um, and now I can go into Tox Pex here on the Victini. Because I, then I get to trap it with... It might be... um. Obviously, it might have the Shed Shell, but I'm not really expecting it to. 
Um, Soxplex is good here because it helps check the current black, it helps check some variants of Aegislash. Nope. I actually don't know if this lives, but it doesn't matter. I get a lot of chip, chip on it regardless. It does live, yeah. That's dumb. Um, well, you can go sell Steeler for free. Um, I didn't look at how much damage that did. Might be Scuff. Might be Bant. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. Yeah, Scuff. I didn't bring Skyman, so we can just click um, Leech Seed. Oh well. Let me put up rocks on the Protect. Or the Switch. I don't have recovery. Doesn't matter. I can, I can put up rocks and then I can teleport next turn. Or I can Thunder Wave this. I'm not faster than him if he's max speed, but I imagine that if he's got speed investment, he's going to be a um, adamant or modest. Oh no! Okay, that's bad. Well, that was bad. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. I'm gonna go talk specs. Doesn't switch into scold at all. I'm gonna click knock knock off because I don't want him to have leftovers. I'm going mew here. I click teleport here. Manaphy Surf here is still very strong. Um, because his only resist is Karen Black, which is weak to Stealth Rock, which I could potentially have the Dazzling Gleam and he doesn't know whether I do or not. Um, if he's Scarf, this could be bad because it would result in Chip, but I I don't... I, I would be very surprised if Crocodile... I, I don't think Crocodile ever could have a coat yet. It doesn't, it doesn't even do half with, if it's Choice Scarf. I wish I had, um, Roost on the Celesteela over Grass Knot, honestly. So I think he's expect he he thinks that I am mono um mono psychic on this set now that I've revealed the teleport, but I'm actually mono grass with the, the grass knot, um which is obviously decent because it hits the crocodile. I mean maybe I should be clicking tail glow here, but I'm not so it doesn't matter what I should be doing. I'll search a surf again. I could tell Glow predicting a um, thing, but he probably he probably doesn't go for the um yeah, he didn't go for the King Shield. It wouldn't have done anything anyway. Okay, that means that he probably is a Choice Guff variant. He's probably going for a Dark move. Right? I mean, I could go hard Toxpex. If he goes for Earthquake, that's bad. I don't die if he goes for Earthquake. Yeah, honestly, it's not even a problem if he goes for Earthquake. He went for Superpower, of all things. Um, well, I can still Scold and get a, hopefully get a burn to the Cell Stealer. I've not been getting... I've not been very lucky with the... Not been very lucky with the burn at all. Oh well. I go Mew and I can teleport here for free. I don't really think I've learnt anything from... Oh 
Or if I hit Kurganov with anything? No, it's just taking rocks three times. Um. I mean, I have a Ma Shadow, right? I have a Ma Shadow that can click Force Palm for free. Even if he's Scarf, he's just doing chip to me. And if he switches out into Cell Stealer, he might get paralyzed, which is good. If he switches out into Victini, he might get paralyzed. Oh, well, if he switches out into Victini, he dies. Victini just dead. He doesn't have any removal on this team. I already killed the Aegis Slash, which was his only fighting switch in. Okay, so I was right, he was Scarf. Probably should have gone to Hard and Tire Drake in there, honestly. I mean, that was realistically my play. Um, though I really think he should have gone for knockoff. I feel, I feel like he should, probably should have been going for knockoff. I mean, I get a force palm into something here. Because I just killed this Scarfo. And if he goes, um, Celesteela, I always have the mid ground to Mew. I mean, I do like half with whatever I go for. Yeah, I got the power. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew I knew he was gonna be going for the rough polish there. In all honesty, it was such a. It, I really don't think he should have gone for it just because it was such an obvious play. I'm, I'm very glad I brought Force Palm on this set, man. Um, that said, I think he's in range of Sneak. Like, he would have been in range of Sneak if I was, like, spamming close combat. Yeah, he really should have gone for an attack there. Did I hit every single bone into steel? Uh, skull? Yeah, every skull went into steel. Um, I'm pretty sure I still kill with Force Palm, so I'm not sure why he went into Cell Stealer. I mean, that was the reason I locked into Force Palm, right? It was because it killed Stealer. Picked a move that would sweep and it swept. I don't know what I don't know what, what to tell him, man. I, I clicked I was like, well, the force farm here could win. And it did. Um, like le legit. Th this is a case of I was like, well force farm can win, so I should click force palm, and then I click force palm and I won. Um, yeah, I mean, it's literally the same chance 
Um, did literally the same chance as gold. Like he 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 did not really have a very good, um, like force palm. So, um, I'm just gonna end the recording here, and I think I'm gonna keep, keep talking to my opponent. But that was. It's definitely still the play that I made, because it did half, it was going to 2 it KO, he couldn't double set up, and unless he could set up twice, he couldn't beat my High Dragon, right? Like, there was, there wasn't a way where he guaranteed won the position from there. Setting up there was a choke. I would maintain that setting up there was a choke, with or without the paralysis.